So a lot of you have kind of requested for me to go over a video of how I was able to build that KFC customer support agent a while ago in five minutes. So let me just kind of break it down, like uh, maybe add in a little bit more explanation and do it step by step so you get a brief of um, what's actually going on behind the scene. So the first thing you would do, as you probably know, within VoiceFlow, you just kind of name your project. So I'm just going to create the project here. Hi there, this is Laura from Acme Solutions. And the first thing you want to do is just ignore that. And you would actually want to use the agent staff within VoiceFlow, which actually allows you to build this kind of like AI agents much more quickly. And you want to click on new agent. And you will want to click on the customer support specialist. Now this customer support agent is a general prompt, which doesn't work for our use case. Now, because I was kind of limited to myself with five minutes, what I actually do, I actually need to change the prompt. Now, you can go ahead and use this prompt editor and say, I want to change this to KFC, right? But to see how slow it is to like, not slow, but like for, for the sake of the five minute prompt that I need to, five minute I actually need to do, the streaming is kind of like slow. So what I actually ended up doing is I actually just copied this and I went to my favorite LLM, which is Gemini, because I have a subscription for that. So you can use ChatGPT if you want. And I'm using 2.5 Flash because it's faster. I just paste in the prompt and just say, the above is a prompt for customer support agent. Edit this prompt. So it's for KFC and and it should be able to generate generate me the prompt while we're waiting what we're going to do is we actually go to the kfc.com summer burger summer now if you didn't know any website if you want to use websites as your knowledge base which means that you want to the ai to be able to reference information from the website to answer the customer's question you can go to the website directly, right? You can just go to kfc.com. But the sitemap.xml is where it contains the collections of all the possible URLs of KFC. So it actually retrieves all the information, all the websites that are related to KFC in one go. So you can just copy this sitemap.xml and you can just go to the knowledge base and you can just click on add data source sitemap and you can just paste this sitemap.xml and you just click continue. And now you would say import 12 URLs, which you will go do, and it's going to import all 12 URLs of the knowledge base. Now, in production ready environment, I highly discourage that because this is not the best way to get the knowledge base. Like you would need to use something like FIFRO, for example, to actually like make it into a markdown format, etc. But because we were such in a rush and we were trying to do it in five minutes, that's what I did. And now I the prompt should be ready. As you can see, it is ready, but I just need to prompt it to put it in markdown code format so I can copy this. You copy this, and then you just go here, and then you paste the entire thing, and it should be good to go. Obviously, like you should review it properly, but then because of time limit, I didn't really have time to actually go ahead and do this. And what things you want to do is you definitely want to click on the access to knowledge base so that it has access to knowledge base. So trigger this when you don't have any questions. And I will add the path call to order collection, right? Because remember in our original demo, it not only does it able to answer customers' questions about KFC, it should be able to collect order. So I would just say trigger this when the user would like to place an order, right, very simple, to order collection. And now I just need another agent where it's able to collect the order and send it to a database called Airtable. So if you didn't know, Airtable is basically a simple database app, allows you to build structured database, which means, which all that means if you not, don't want to get too technical, is just like an Excel-like database. So you've got the columns, 
name, email, phone number, order, or well, the exact order, the locations, and the time of the when you need the order to arrive. So uh, by using this as a, as a base, then you would need to add in another agent. So just click on agent, new agent, and just click on information collector specialist. Click on that template. And what I did was, I, again, because we want it to be for KFC, we copy this, paste this here, and we just say, this prompt is for a general lead capture agent. I would like it to, I would like to convert this to a, to an order collection agent, collecting the variable name, email, uh, phone, order, and location, and time. Time is when the customer wants it. Right. Location is the delivery address. Order is what the customer Uh, I, I actually missed one thing is that it should be able to also I should include in the prompt where we actually want it to use a tool so the reason why we want to use a tool is because to calling actually in the agent step and uh, tells the agent about specific actions they can take or external APIs they can use to guide the user to success right so basically you need to instruct it in the prompt when the agent should use this API calling so when the user so sorry, when the agent what during the conversation, what what time should the agent collect, capture the data, and actually send it over to the Airtable Airtable database that we've got, right? So we need to tell it because otherwise the AI doesn't know. Because we're definitely going to create this API tool called order collection, right? Add in prompt to run the order collection tool once all data have been captured. And now we can just enter the variable which we already defined which is name and we just need to enter description name of the customer email email of the customer phone phone of the customer order the order the customer would like to have And location the delivery address time should be a bit smaller to actually. Send a full API request into the uh, into the API docs, so which I'm trying to find, which will have the URL that we need to do it. So we just need to create records. You just need to copy that into the API URL uh, headers. Uh, you just need to have authorization it's using Vera. So you just need to click Vera. And your API key, which I'm just gonna, and you will need content type application JSON. And you would just need to copy this in 
to raw JSON and copy this in and you would definitely don't want you don't need the entire thing so you just you just need one build to be honest and you would just need the name which is obviously the plain email which is just a variable email it's kind of repetitive at this point then you've got phone which is just phone and you've got order Yeah, that, that definitely can't be completed in five minutes, so that's why I just abandoned, uh, I just kind of abandoned it. Location. Location. Time. And that is the API tool calling. You, now you just need to describe when to trigger this. Trigger this when you have collected all the necessary information from the user. And it's ready to send the info. Right, something simple, right? And then you just select the model, you just change it to GT4.1 And you probably want to jump it down to around this uh, Yeah, that's good enough for now And I still need to copy this prompt back to include the order collection to calling um, To instruct the AI when to use the tool, the API to Airtable and let me just double check. Yep, I just need to create the variable name, email, phone, order, location, and time. Nope. Time. Perfect. And just double checking. I'm just like making sure the AI knows what variables it's capturing. Um, order. Yep, that's it. So that is how you can build it in in five minutes. To be honest, um, you can just test. And to be fair, there's a bunch of things you can do. Where like if you go to the interface widget, you go to appearance and style. This is where you can just upload the image of your company then you can just make your agent looks nice um obviously this is like this is really not something that should be production ready this is like even what this is one of the easiest this is like one of the simplest demo that you can do so like this is definitely don't actually deploy this but then just to show you like how you can build like a prototype in five minutes in voice work. so yeah hopefully that gives you an idea so if you just test the agent There are from KFC, uh, I want to place an order. Your name, email, phone number, what would you like to order? Uh, Edwin, that's it, my name is Tom Smith. Gmail.com, uh, phone is plus 447492421478. Four, four, I want it delivered. To one two three Pine Street uh, arrive in thirty minutes. Uh, what do you like to arrive? Twenty minutes. I want to hop. I want a hot wing. Okay. Yeah. 
more than one ointment. Yep, it's just says the correct. All correct. It's apartment A. Jason KFC is that again. Thank you for coming order. Your order. Your contact information, your order is being processed. You'll receive confirmation shortly. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Thanks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean.